Tonight, KPRC2 investigates Mario Diaz is back looking into the Houston airport system. Thank you so much for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. In this latest investigation, Mario looks closely at a tiny corporation affiliated with the city's airport system. So take a look at the company logos here behind us. As you can see, not much is really different other than the letters. This small company made millions of dollars. The employees are highly compensated and their focus is solely on developing international airports in Latin America or making them better. Tonight, KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz shows us this investigation that's been years in the making. And why Houston Mayor John Whitmire is now asking for another city audit. All new at 10. Houstonians have seen construction languish here at Bush Intercontinental Airport for years. Houston City Council approved a complete makeover of the space 10 years ago. And as we first exposed, tens of millions was spent on this project with nothing to show for it. But we shouldn't be critical of the Houston airport system for not getting an international terminal up and running smoothly. Because previous airport leadership does have a track record of getting international terminals to operate smoothly, only not here in Houston. But they have delivered down in Latin America at the International Airport in Quito, Ecuador, as well as the airport in Barranquilla, Colombia. In fact, here's a news article from Barranquilla touting former aviation director Mario Diaz representing the Houston Airport System Development Corporation, also known as HASDC. At a time when our international terminal that Houstonians are paying for wasn't even getting off the ground. By the way, doesn't Barranquilla's airport logo look familiar? It should. It's nearly identical to the Houston airport's system logo. It alarms me that uh, an airport system that's got some deficiencies would be spending their time and maybe even Houston taxpayer dollars to help Ecuador or other uh, countries. HASDC is a tiny company consisting of three employees. They also have a board of directors. Its chairman is the Houston Airport System Aviation Director. On their website, they claim their mission is to help create the best in-class airports in developing countries. What is not listed is a phone number or where they are located. Hello. But KPRC2 Investigates found them inside this building, 22 miles away from the airport's system executives building. Hi, I'm Mario Diaz with KPRC Channel 2. How are you doing? You? Good, good. I'm Agustin Arellano. I'm nice meeting you. Agustin Arellano heads up HASDC as its president. Government filings also list an assistant treasurer and assistant secretary. We took our findings to Mayor John Whitmire. Do you know anything about their compensation? I do. According to IRS returns for 2022, Arellano makes $335,000 a year. The two assistants make $255,000 and $240,000 respectively. In fact, Arellano makes more than one of the men he reports to, the newly appointed Houston Airport System Aviation Director, Jim Sisniak. Remember, he's also the board chair for HASDC. I hope we do a full audit of his job responsibilities, where the money comes from, and, and also uh, what's the benefit to the Houston airport. In federal records, HASDC makes it clear they are attempting to provide a benefit to the city of Houston. The same claim is made in their bylaws provided to us by City Hall. KPRC2 Investigates also obtained city emails showing airport executives doing work for HASDC while employed by the city of Houston. Online, the HASDC website states they are affiliated to the Houston airport system, however, have no legal or financial responsibility. But remember, the city's aviation director is chairman of the board, a role they will have forever. 
Here's what Ariano had to say. No, it's, it's, it's just a uh, bad translation. Has this, he has nothing to do with Houston Airport System. But on the website, it says right here, HADC is a private Texas-based nonprofit corporation affiliated yeah. with HAS. Yeah, because that, uh, that's, a, that's an old, um, uh, let's say, a, 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 an old version of the website. <laughs> Aside from enhancing airport operations in Latin America, HASDC is making money, lots of it. They made money? They made $16 million in investments. For what, time, what were the investments? I don't believe the Houston airport system with its challenges that it presents to travelers and Houstonians need to be spending any time on third parties. Now, you might be wondering about the millions they have made. In part two, we're going to break that down. We're also going to show you exactly what HASDC owns inside the Quito, Ecuador airport, along with other companies that they have created. Danny Keith, there is still much more to this investigation involving an airport system that we all pay into. How long, no, have, you been, how long have you been looking into this company? Uh, we first came across this company in 2018. That's when we reported on a former board member that got named to the board only to get bounced from this board in just a span of days. Keep in mind, every time we have asked questions in the past from the city uh, about, as well as airport leadership, about HASDC, we have only been met with roadblocks. Okay, and knowing you, it's likely that you at least reached out to this board member. And tracked him down? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, we did track this board member down. You're going to hear from him, as well as a former U.S. attorney and the city of Houston's attorney. They all have questions. Okay, uh, as do a lot of us who live in here in the Houston area as right. well. That's right. Okay. We look forward yeah. to you following yeah. up on this, Mario. Thank you. Uh -huh.